I'm Stephanie Briggs. Here's what's happening in your community. It's Military Family Week at the Minnesota Zoo, 13,000 Zoo Boulevard in Apple Valley. Military personnel, including active, retired, and civilian members, will receive free admission and free parking today through Sunday. Their family members will be given half-priced admission. Food, retail, monorail, and IMAX discounts will also be offered. As part of the festivities, the Minnesota Army National Guard 34th Infantry Division Band will perform noon and 2 p.m. Thursday and Friday on the Central Plaza. In other news, the Minnesota Supreme Court formally reprimanded Dakota County Attorney James Backstrom June 25th for his actions during the Washington County murder trial. The opinion agrees with the recommendation given by the Office of Lawyers Professional Responsibility, a state ethics board. Backstrom entered into a petition of agreement with that recommendation in May. The petition said that Backstrom committed professional misconduct by emailing a defense witness in the November murder trial of Nicole Beecroft. The 19-year-old Oakdale woman was sentenced in December to life without parole for stabbing her newborn daughter to death. Backstrom sent an email to Dakota County Medical Examiner Lindsay Thomas during the trial expressing his disapproval that a member of her staff, Susan Rowe, was planning to act as an expert witness on behalf of the defense. After the email was sent, Rowe decided not to testify in the case. At the time of the petition, Backstrom issued a public statement of apology. As part of the Supreme Court ruling, he is mandated to pay $900 in legal costs. Partly cloudy, lows around 55. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, highs 70 to 75. Because of city budget cuts, Burnsville's Lake Alamagnet Center for the Arts in Alamagnet Park has closed its doors and art groups who used it for years, like the Burnsville Visual Arts Society, must find a new home. Carolyn Carlson, formerly of Apple Valley, with the Art Society, which had a garage sale June 24th and 25th at the Alamagnet House, gives a tour of the building where artists of all kinds from across the South Metro have held classes, meetings, and stored supplies coming together to celebrate the arts for more than two decades. Let's take a look. Burnsville Visual Arts Society sold supplies at stored at the Burnsville Al Magnet House during a garage sale June 24th. The society is one of several groups looking for a new space now that the building is closed. The Al Magnet House here for a few years. This was just a wall, but now it's the office for what was called the City Arts Coordinator. And this is Boss's office, rather barren looking right now. <laughs> conference room, an extra kind of uh, classroom. We have donated all the slat wall covering, you know, this, this stuff upstairs. We have a gallery up there usually. And then the city, um, one year they used some money to extend it down here so we'd have extended space. And there are storage rooms off here. One store room here. Back when the city had it for park and rec offices, uh, this was the, uh, like the hockey they had bins, well, like those, and they had all the hockey equipment, probably football and, you know, this. For Sun Current and Sun Newspapers, I'm Stephanie Briggs. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you tomorrow.